then I would like to do one thing before I go anywhere else. Take your palm off your hand. Hold the foot firmly this side. Go with the palm of your hand now. You know, this bit of your hand is doing the job. Does it feel? So don't ever, ever, ever forget that your hand can do anything. Your fingers, your hand, your knuckles. When you come here, try to massage. This is the lower back. Try to massage with the palm of your hand. If you can, you can just even do this. You know, the lower back is very painful. So really, people do not understand that. But you need to actually remember, this is a coccyx area. You sit on this area. It's your waist area. You have to stand up. It's painful. So use your knuckles. God gave you this so that you can use them firmly but gently. When you think you've done all that, don't forget this side of the foot. Go this side. Use your other hand. Use your other hand. Go back to the bottom of the foot. Remember, you've got the spine there, the, the tail or the coccyx. When you think you've done enough there, if I were you, then I would still sit, sit, take the foot, massage it a little bit that way and that way, then take my fingers, go down. You are massaging the whole person, every part. I'm not going to anatomy and physiology because if you know this is the middle of your body, this is where your stomach will be. This is where your liver will be. Okay? You go down, this is where you pass the urine, it goes into the bladder, this is where your bladder is. I'm not going to anatomy and physiology, I was just talking. This is where your amatomb or your intestines go down the big ones, then you're at the bottom again. So, why don't you just walk up with your fingers and walk up and walk up and walk up and walk up and get here and just hold the side, massage this part because this is where you find your heart is. We need the lungs to be good, we need the spine to be good, but you also need the lungs to be good. Your lungs are here, the shoulders are in this area, do everything. The whole body is here. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. So don't be lazy to use your fingers or even do this if you want to. You know? Ask the patient, is, is the pressure okay? Yeah. Yeah. If she says she said, I'm sorry, but uh, sometimes just go and move. And move. And move, but me, I could do that and then I massage. Okay. See, I do that and then I massage because really and truly you want this, this process of massaging the meridians. Why do you talk about meridians now? Meridians are not blood vessels, mm -hmm. they are invisible uh, things, uh, what you call invisible channels that carry vital energy, vital life comes from above. Okay. When you do this, you are doing what Jesus Christ did when he was washing the feet of his uh, apostles, which are not shown anything, but if you actually had followed the story, he was showing us Jesus Christ was the first person to teach about reflexology. Don't be afraid to do this because it relaxes the patient as well. It feels relaxed yeah. and go yeah. outside the foot. Okay. You know? Just with your palm of your fingers. And you can even do it with the palm of your hand. Do the ankles, do everything. But always come back. You know? I'm doing one foot because I'm just doing a demonstration. You yeah. do the same thing on the other foot. Don't forget that this part of your hand. This is the back of my hand. You can actually use it slowly and gently. You know? Okay. You are fighting with the spine that 
it must get blood supply and vital energy. And then, this is very soothing, you wouldn't do this, isn't it? Yeah, very yeah. soothing. Yeah. Go back to this now, it just, just to soothe the individual, because you can't finish with all soothing, that person. And it will say, no, 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 don't stop now, Mama, go on. <laughs> say, Baba, we have got it, done it now, I'm going to have to stop. No, wait a minute. Before you stop, though, I want you to go back to the spine. You are using the part of your hand now. Uh -huh. You are still along. Remember that line I told you about? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. If you want, you use this part. You can use the thumb. You... <laughs> mm -hmm. Go back and down. Go up and down. And... Then, before you finish, you just go back here. You see? You see? I'm back here. With my back yeah. yeah. And you just go, go down, down. Always check if there are any bleeding on the skin or anything or different colors. That tells you something. Go down, go down. You'll be surprised how many things you can diagnose on the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, the kidneys, the stomach, the liver, the heart, the lungs. So when a person is not well, it's not just the spine, it's everything. Okay. Right. Now I'm about to go, so I'm going to have to massage the whole foot. Because I'm just about to say goodbye now. Okay. You know, just massage the whole foot. Gently, a little bit firm, but comfortably, you know. You are expecting this person to be asleep by the time we finish with them, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And hold the foot here, and just try to bend it a little bit. And before you go, also hold it like that. Just try to do this a little bit. Okay. And you know that when we have moved this thing, you have moved every part and that person's trunk, you know. Okay. Can you say, Baba? Saying bony leg, it's a set tight a man. So just finishing off. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Oh um, and you say hi everybody. Thank you. This is Josephine and I'm with Gogoya Vandu. She is teaching me reflexology. Um it's not herbal, it's not anything, it's just teaching reflexology which helps to relax. It helps the spine, it helps the body to heal itself. Thank you very this much. This is how Jesus Christ started showing us how to heal through using this technique when he was washing the feet of his apostles. This is actually what he was trying to teach us. Good luck. <laughs>